Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the pattern feature and today we're going to look at those designs in the bottom left hand corner. So we're going to learn today about how to create a pattern on a path or a curve and this can be both a sketch and an existing feature of a design like an edge. As always we've got a number of tabs at the bottom. The tab that's active at the moment gives us an overview of the different activities and you can click on the YouTube icons to access the YouTube tutorials. You've also got a tab on the right hand side here which gives extra access to different resources and tutorials. And today in this tutorial we have a reference file or part and we also have a tutorial part studio where we can actually apply this technique. So if we select part studio here we can have a look at this technique. So what we've got on the screen is a design, okay, this sort of oval shape that's been extruded and if we have a look here and go back in time a little bit we've created a simple extruded base we've created a curve so a sketch so if we have a look at that that's just been created using okay a spline and as I've probably shown you in previous videos, what would be good if you were doing this to a level of accuracy is you could go in here and you could type in, okay, and define these particular spine points, like so. But for this purpose, we've just drawn, okay, a, a spine like that. But be good, okay, good uh, skills, okay, is to dimension those spines if you're creating, okay, something with a level of accuracy. So we've got that sketch there. Once I created that sketch, I've then created this oval design down the bottom left hand corner. I've then extruded that and I've added a little fillet. Now when I've extruded that, okay, it is still part or, you know, still one part basically. I did not, if we go into here, let us click escape. Uh, I've got something selected. There we go. What I didn't do is I didn't click on new. So if I click new, as you can see, it'll create a separate part there. So I've just merged this in. This um, feature we're going to use, pattern along a path, will work. Okay, if you have separate okay parts, all right, I'll do the same thing. But in this instance, I've merged it all together. And what we're going to do if we drag this down. And let's have a look. I'm just going to hide that one actually. And let's have a look what we've got. So, so we're a little bit tricky to see because of the angle we've got it at. But you should be able to see here we've got this feature now and we've got this okay, sort of path here. So, what I did, I went into the options up here, curve pattern, and I've created this pattern here. Now, what that's doing now it is following okay, that path like so. And then what we'll do after that is I will show you, and you can have a go at this of course, is how to, you don't have to use a very curvy path, like the path could also be used or created using straight lines as well, like that. So let's have a go. So what we've got in this left hand corner here is this feature. So we've got this oval shape that's been extruded and filleted. So we're going to pattern that now along that path there. So we go up to two curve pattern and we're going to pattern okay the feature so the feature is going to be the extrude just for now I'm going to miss out the fillet on purpose the path is going to be this line here and as you can see at the moment we've only got two so if I say like 12 in there like that that will create 12 along that path we're going to click on apply per instance and then that will then remove the error. And if we click on top, we can see what we've got. So this is pattern this along here, and it's working out that it's done 12, okay, equally between the end of that uh, sketch there and the start of it there. So it's done 12, okay, equally spaced. At the moment, as that rotates around, it's following the curvature, and it's sort of creating from the point on the curve, it's creating that to be perpendicular to the point that would be on the curve. 
So as you can see, it's sort of spinning around as we go around. If we click Keep Orientation, once I tick that, you'll see it'll, it'll stay the same orientation as that, like so. So you may want it to uh, keep the orientation, or you may want to rotate it, depending on what you want to achieve. So I'm going to click on Keep Orientation, click the tick, and confirm that. You will notice that it has not patterned okay, the filler. You might think, well, I'll just go into filler and I'll click on all these edges and apply a filler. You could, but that's okay, too long. If we go back into here, because we're patterning the feature, we can add an extra features to it. So I'm going to add the filler. And after a few seconds, that will update. And as you can see, all those are now filleted with the same filler that's been you know, added here and added onto that sort of parent feature there. And I can update that. If I go into the filler and I change that from two to one and update it, you'll see then it will create, okay, that filler on every single, okay, existing feature as you go along here. If I go into pattern again and click edit, again, if you wanted to, you can flip this and you can change the number of features again to whatever you want all right so if you come out and you decide actually i want a few more or a few less okay you can adjust it there and click that so that's nicely patterned that along that curve however you might think well actually i don't want it to pattern around the spine i want to use straight lines and create a pattern that way so if i just suppress that so right click and suppress it and I'm going to hide that curve one and I'm going to turn on okay, this design here. And if you look at this, what's important to note when you're creating this pattern here or this line that you want it to go around the path, you can obviously adjust it. You can click on dimension and you can dimension those okay, to get a little bit more accuracy. And the important thing to note as well is what I've done on here, I've drawn this ellipse. I then started, okay, my sketch for my path from the center, so I've snapped it to that. So I've drawn that, so it snaps to that particular point, and then that will stop any errors occurring with my repeated pattern. So if we turn this at an angle where we can see, and we come out, we can go to pattern again. I'm gonna go for features. I'm gonna select the filler, and the extrude this time both together and I'm going to go for the path so the path this time is going to be this line so I could select each line like so and every time I select it because I've got two or if I got three it's going to do three on that path there again I can come back up to oops, sorry up to here select another one it's then going to space those three out along that, along that. If I can't be bothered and lazy and I don't want to select each of those individually, I can come to here and select it in one go. And then type my instances in. And if we go to the top view, you can see those are spinning and spinning around and are okay 90 degrees. Okay, if you imagine if we zoom in here, the point in the middle there is 90 degrees perpendicular to that line. If we keep orientation it will get the same orientation as my initial design here. And it's repeated that design as we go along there. If I click on the tick, we then have our patterned design like so. And like we've done in the, some of the other tutorials, if you've decided, well, actually, I do want, say, 12 old patterns along there, but then, okay, you then decide to actually I want to keep the spacing but I want to remove the feature around here you can come up to delete and you can select those and you can remove that particular instance you know very very easily like so so what we're going to look at now is again how we can create a curved pattern of say a feature but this time rather than creating sketches and using sketches we're just going to use some existing geometry which is basically this edge as it runs along the top. So if we have a look at this design here, 
and we just go back in time and have a look at what we've actually created is we created this simple extrude and you can see if it goes back in time there you go so we've got a simple extrude we've then removed a curve okay section at the top then created a sketch on the side here cut that through and then rather than thinking right okay I want a few more of these along this curve here what I'll do is I'll just go back into my sketch add each one along okay it's a lot easier than that as we've seen before so if we added a pattern you will see okay what we've done we've selected okay that edge rather than creating a sketch all right so let's have a look at how you do that it's very very simple so if we go to extrude we're going to add okay i'll create this design here i'm going to flip it the other way i'm going to remove the materials and i'm going to set that to say through all so it's going to completely go right through that and we're going to go up to curve pattern again we're going to use the feature which is the extrude the path this time we've got no sketch to select so we're actually going to select the edge like so if we click on this angle see what's happening it's looking along that sketch there and it's creating two instances if I select say five all right we can actually see what we've got here so I'm going to click on apply instance so it will basically remove the error and you see at the moment it's extrude, doing an extrude cut of that but it's following okay the curvature so it's rotating okay that uh, extruded cut so it's following the curve as it goes around remember if you click on keep orientation that will then okay keep that angle there and repeat it however it all depends on what you want to achieve so if i did want to achieve okay something similar and keep the orientation i may i have to update my original sketch so if i go and save that i come back into the sketch here and i'm just going to drag that out a bit further and update it you can then see it has if we click edit okay as updated and it's removed that bit of there but obviously it's removed this section here so it will depend okay on what you want to achieve whether you want to keep or remove okay the orientation but that's how you can simply select an edge of an existing part or design rather than creating okay sketches so what we've got on screen here is we have this extrude so this sort of hexagonal shape that's been extruded down and what we want is this pattern as we go along here to follow that curve and at the moment we have one part in total but what would happen if we wanted those okay to be separate parts but we do want to follow the curve so let's have a look at the tutorial and this could be for if you're doing circle patterns or linear patterns pattern fills and so on so we're going to go to extrude we're going to extrude this down so I selected that I'm going to flip the direction and we want to select up to next so that's going to go up to okay that curve there so if we have say new selected because we want these to be separate parts and click a tick we then go to linear pattern what we're going to do is if we go part we're going to pattern and we use the direction and we type in say five and flip it that direction it's going to automatically okay just copy that part and that curvature it's not going to repeat okay and match up the curvature underneath so what we might have to do rather than doing part we'll go to feature so if we set the extrude feature again okay that is creating like that design but it's not following okay that curvature so how are we going to create separate feet separate parts okay but for the curvature 
So what we might have to do is in here, is we might have to add that in and tick the tick to confirm it. We then have to add our linear okay, pattern. So what are we going to pattern? Feature. So if we're patterning a feature, it, it will not allow us to see in parts, you've got add remove, but if you're patterning a feature, it doesn't have those options. So we'll have to go pattern that feature. Okay, direction on there. I want to flip it. And I want five of them. Like so. So if we, yes, it's patterned those, it's copied the curvature, it's remained flat on that surface, and I've got those now, and I can tick that. But that is one okay body or one part. So you're gonna have to separate them or split them. So there's different ways of doing this, but if we click on that surface there, I'm gonna use that edge, convert that into a sketch. So sketch four, it's gonna hide that now. And I'm gonna go up to extrude, and I'm gonna create a surface, and I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna go up to, let's have a look, symmetric. And I'm just gonna pull that out to say 100. Maybe a bit extreme, but if we'd say 100, we turn this one back on. Now you can see this is what we've got now. So if we go to split, which is up here, part to split, you want to split this part, entities, I'm going to select the surface down here, and then I'm going to click on tick. And what we've got now, okay, are these separate parts which do take into consideration the curve. So we've separated those now, as you can see there. And we could turn off, say, that one. And we've now got these separate okay parts we do take into consideration okay the curvature there so sometimes it is important especially when you're creating patterns okay of certain features or even uh, parts okay you do need to change some of the options to be able to do that thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.